Hi, welcome to the Optical Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to convert raw images using the Optical software. So you may wonder why not use a software such as Photoshop to do the same thing. The reason is Optical will convert these raw files in a way that is most adequate to perform digital image correlation. Whereas Photoshop will convert these raw files to make them look as good as possible for any viewer. So two different goals, two different conversions. Uh, be aware that if you use Photoshop, you will likely see a lot of noise in your image correlation results. Uh, so I strongly advise you to use Optical. Okay, let's get started. So you can click on Convert Raw Images tab here and simply load your raw files. Okay, so I'm going to select them all. Here we go. So here we're looking at images shot with a Canon 6D at UCLA. Uh, what we're looking at here are not the raw files uh, per se, but they are the uh, thumbnails attached in the files. So we can make sure everything looks good. You can see we're still looking at color images now. Uh, we can rotate these images here using the, these two buttons. Okay, in this case we don't have to, but just in case they're here. If you accidentally loaded an image that you did not want to convert, simply right click on it and go delete image. Here we go. Okay, uh, ne next feature is the uh, distortion correction. So uh, Optical has uh, embedded in the software a a huge lens database coming from lensfund.com uh, and uh, it is very likely that your lens is already in this software. So to, to correct for lens distortion you simply click that box here enable distortion correction and you select your camera here in this case we have an EOS 6D and your lens so it is the uh, Canon EF 85 millimeter. Alright so the uh, camera and lens parameters are going to get loaded here and you can see this lens has almost no distortion so there's very little correction to look at but if we look in the corner here if I turn off the correction you can see that the corner gets stretched a little when I when I turn it on and so that means the image is uh, corrected to be as accurate as possible when you're going to perform image correction later so it's a really powerful feature it allows you to correct your images without shooting any calibration target of some kind very fast, very easy to use, very powerful. Okay, when you're ready, you simply hit the uh, Convert Selected Files button or Convert All Files. You can select using Control and Shift buttons, you can select multiple files here. Hit the Convert Selected Files button and here we go. The result will look like this. Uh, you'll see the image is a little muddy, very, very flat looking. And again, that's because uh, the intent here is to represent what your sensor truly saw not what your eye would like to see, right? And so it's very important to use optical to, to convert these files. You can also notice that this is a 16 bits image. Most raw converter will convert your image as an 8 bits. Uh, it is really important to get a 16 bit image because it contains a lot more depth into the grayscale and the image correlation will be a lot more accurate with, with these kind of images. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. It's uh, very simple as you can see. Next, we're gonna load the files that we converted as experiment images and get going with image correlation. Thank you for watching.